Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your mid-July um, general reading. Uh, let's get into it. I'll save the announcements till the end, okay? Alright, so we've got our shells. Ooh. Somebody's dealing with some real heavy burden, some issue. Like, either it's with family, it's with home, it's with career, your job. Like, you're carrying the heavy load. You may be financially supporting a home or several people or something of that nature or maybe something surrounding your home there's the uh, expenses around the home is what I'm saying here uh, <clears throat> you and a love partner there's distance in between you two um, this distance could be actual physical distance or it could just be mental and emotional the communication is cut off um, or if there is communication it's very short it's very sporadic um, yeah so there's distance there um, some of you are out dating you know a lot of people um, you, you, you try to be around a lot of people or people people try to be around you that's you know vice versa I don't know um, but you still feel alone and you still feel like you're carrying a heavy load all by yourself some of you there's like an, a young adult maybe like you're a young adult child or children or family members um you may be relying on them or or they're heavily relying on you um, financially emotionally you don't see eye to eye with someone here you feel isolated completely you feel like whatever you're carrying whether it's in romantic relationship or family or home school work it's just heavy and, and it's just piling up it's almost like the ten of wands energy so it's somebody's pregnant or there will be a pregnancy it might not be you Aries but um, and it could be you but it might not be you it's just someone you know and someone who's close to you okay all right so let's do four cards for love all right four cards spread for Aries and love four cards for love bottom of the deck the six of cups children may be highlighted uh, soulmate relationships someone thinking of the past someone thinking of past friends past family members maybe you've lost contact um, you're going you know inside of your this is um, sometimes you go to this place emotionally when there is a lot of stress a lot of trauma a lot of drama or something happened in childhood. I mean, it, this could be so many different things, but um, we'll see what it is. Hang on. Let's pull the career and finance. Four cards for career and finance. All right.
right two came out here the bottom of the deck of the six of pentacles so some of you are just getting to peace and serenity sixes uh, are about balance peace and serenity there could be problems in this career and finance situation um there also could be a payout here too but it's getting to a place of balance you're trying to balance things out something comes in to help balance the situation at two sixes here six of cups six of diamond uh, talks about problems in a second marriage second relationship doesn't have to be a second one but that could be significant for someone out there all right let's get our cards of additional advice the deck leaving all right you could be leaving a situation behind job home school friends family anything you could be leaving an old mindset too you could be leaving anything we'll get into this and see what this leaving is about all right you be moving too all right so for love we have the five of pentacles the three of swords the ace of cups and the four of cups all right, so it looks like, sorry guys, I'm nothing without my coffee. <laughs> anyway, uh, five of, so there's some change surrounding um, possibly a third party situation. For, for a while, someone couldn't see that you were the soulmate or vice versa you couldn't see that another someone was your soulmate but now somebody external to you is experiencing the five of pentacles the three of sword cutting something out feeling left out in the cold feeling depleted there's change happening um there might be divorce separation infidelity the need to practice caution in this particular relationship this could be with the gemini libra aquarius capricorn virgo taurus sun moon or rising um cancer pisces scorpio is highlighted especially with the ace of cups four of cups and then six of cups it's 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 as if this person you or the other person had to go through heartbreak heartache um despair feeling left out to see that they had love with you already you know they love was already here for them they couldn't see it or they didn't want to take to it they thought that someone else was the better fit for them or some other situation now it's either i think it's both you and this person are thinking about the past thinking about what could have been thinking about the good times even thinking about the bad times but the good times are definitely outweighing the bad um now this person sees that you're possibly what they needed all along what they wanted all along um they made a bad judgment call here and it it has uh It, it caused some great despair and hurt for them. The other person could be dealing with so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be. Um, yeah, it's like they're going to come back around. Definitely mm -hmm. come back around. Because now spirit is showing them, you know, this was the person you were supposed to be with all along. We get the cup, the hand with the cup and the hand with the cup. Like, you know, hey, mm -hmm. or this is how you feel about um another party okay that's how you feel now okay all uh, right career and finance eight of diamond queen of clubs you're showing up ace of diamond night i mean ace of spade eight of spade seven of spade good energy 
looks like something comes in to help you out some there's a payout there's some balance that comes by way of doing the work putting the work in and then money stabilizes just a bit but it still fluctuates but it's still it's getting you by uh, some of you could be entrepreneurs uh, some of you could be just doing your own thing uh, there'll be a complete transformation possibly in how you do your work how you gain your money um, what the cards are telling you to do is don't get stuck and stagnant in things being canceled and things not going your way and things you know just not panning out in the direction that you were thinking they should have know that the loss of this or maybe the transformation of it is setting you up um, to find balance again also for some of you you need to just you have to really make a plan make a plan uh, write it out and stick to it and this is the loss of loss of friends or a loss of burden to carry and it looks like in the shells you had a lot of burden to carry um, yeah a lot of burden A lot of so you might it, it might end for you or but what's all in is our new beginnings you know it's like it's setting you up to now maybe come back to this revisit it whatever it may be um, and really come back strong with a more um, in-depth uh, written plan of action of how you want to um, have things go some of you are in school uh, school is going well it's a lot of work you're learning something here or in some type of class um, it's going to put you in a place where you uh, you definitely going to be able to to utilize that but you still you, you have to plan if, if you don't have a plan you're what's the saying um, plan to either plan to fail or you fail to plan right so plans and in long-term thinking um, projection is highlighted here oh because what I just heard is spirit says they want to help you and they're gonna help you but they don't know which direction you want to go in because you haven't even thought that far <laughs> I'm sorry that's funny because sometimes it's funny because okay I know this is gonna be longer than what I wanted to be Jane okay so it's funny because sometimes when you're listening to these tarot card readings and you get readings and you're talking to psychically inclined people and blah 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 and it can get real spooky ooky and you know and you know they want people be, are so far spiritual that they can not see the practical in life we live in a physical realm this we still have to operate in practicality and logic um what i just said to you about planning to um you either plan to what is it you either fail to plan or or plan or what is it you the uh, what i just said okay so it's like this Spirit wants to help you, but if you have no direction, then where are they going? It's always, like I say, for we, whether you believe or not, we serve a very intellectual, rational, logical creator. And if you haven't gotten that down packed, then a lot of times that's when Spirit holds off. Because then you, you need to get to a place of practicality and rationale if you want all of these grand plans to happen but you aren't you know instituting the change by way of learning about what you need to do next taking the next step writing out a plan of action whether this a business plan or or a five-year plan whatever it may be if you're not doing that the spirit says I'm gonna help you do what again Oh, you don't know okay well we're gonna hold off on that so 
that's where practicality, rationale, physical life meets spirituality. You got to marry the two. All those two have to be. Um, you know, you have to do the work. You know, for if it's possible for us, you know, if it's possible, then it's for us to do. If it's impossible, then it's for God. So don't put the possible on our God when you know if you need to get a building permit, you're praying for a building permit, but you hadn't gone down and done the paperwork and done the the actual, you know, work of doing that, then you're being very irrational and illogical. Um, if you're praying for a soulmate to come back, but you haven't been in contact with this person for 15 to 20 years, and you have no intention of contacting this person, the spirit says, okay, so you want me to do what again? Like, you guys live on polar opposites of the, of the world. How are you going to, come on, help me help you. Anyway, moving right along, because I can go on and on about that. Mm -hmm. Leaving. All right. New exercise program. For some of you, uh, I think that'll get the uh, self-esteem up for some of you. New exercise program. That's pretty self-explanatory. Courage. Yeah, have the courage to institute the change that you want in your life. Make plans. Um have the courage to allow someone to come back if they're coming back to you but also know that you have um, set boundaries and uh, don't allow what happened in the past um, don't allow that again you know um, let them know that you are a changed person um, and you expect this or that decisions you do have decisions to make uh, it looks like surrounding a career and finance you have a decision to make. For some of you, could be in love. Um, leaving, I think either some of you are leaving a relationship, you're moving, uh, or there's someone external to you leaving a dynamic. That could be work, home. This could be you. This could be a relationship. Yeah, so this is what I have for the latter part of July. Um, if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. All of the information of how to reach me is below. Uh, send an email. Go over to the website where you'll find the most recent information. Okay? And you can book and pay there. Choose to pay through PayPal. It's just easier. Okay? Alright, know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. When in doubt, pray also. Take care, guys. Bye.